Stop. I'm so impressed. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's such a great shot. Something I've always loved about Devil May Cry is its stylishness. And that style also extends to the cutscenes and the filmmaking of the game. Now, I've played the original Devil May Cry and the second one. We're going to be looking at the Devil May Cry 5 opening today, which I've heard fantastic things about. I wonder if I should finally play this game. Let's take a look, and if you enjoy our time together, please check out some of the other videos we've covered on this channel and some of the cutscenes that we've broken down. Thank you. All right, let's take a look at it. Capcom, what have you cooked up for us today? Like I said, I love the old Devil May Cry games, the stylishness of them, the uh, the sort of tongue-in-cheek aspect of it is also really well done. Wow, somebody's flying. Says Nico. Good character intros here. I love it already. Okay, we get a little date on the screen. Okay, some world building. A little bit of a setup on the radio. Love it. Nice character intro shot there. I like how we're getting it on the radio. Same crap, different day. So, tell me. Awesome. Tell you what. How does it feel to be rescuing the guy that killed your father? Whoa. Great voices. <laughs> Wait a second, hold on, hold on. I gotta go back. Is that oh okay, I thought that was like old like Mega Man stuff for some reason. <laughs> I was gonna be like, that's so cool. This is great character intro for both of them. Okay. <laughs> Great voice. None. Damn. They're not the. Uh... It's there, girl. He's like, ugh. That's you. Whoa. Okay. Okay. A little bit of a con. Look hey, here. Don't lose your tits. I see him. Oh wow, she's just hitting him. <laughs> That's insane. That's not what I expected. How they were gonna get out and hey, you have to hit every single bump in the road. <laughs> gonna ruin my crew. Ooh, okay, the music's ramping up now. Feeling a little bit more devil may cry. Love that. Ah, oh, that was awesome. See, like I said, very stylish. <clears throat> of course, the wiper is insane. Love it. It's absurd, but it's awesome. Stop. Amazing. Look at the choreography of this. And it's all one shot. Unbroken shot so far. And look at this, it's actually perfectly melding into each keyframe, as you call it in animation. Where it's like each time he shoots is, boom, this perfectly composed image. And then he moves on to the next frame and you get the credits like on the buildings in the background and stuff. Oh man, this is so well done. This is such a great, cre yeah, credits on the car. Oh man, I'm so impressed. Oh, come on, <laughs> that's such a great shot. Fantastic shot, so much character, so much life, so much personality, so much personality for both of them, and we've seen them for like two minutes so far. The song is great, man. I actually recognize this song, so I think I've heard a few of the songs from this game. Behind the back. I mean, come on, like I said, those keyframes. There's a fantastic wonder that happened, which is the unbroken shot. Great song. And he's rotating around the car. There's such a great movement to the camera throughout this entire thing. And you can see in the window. Come on. Such a creative use of credits here. He's going to pop back in. He's got to. And the explosion to top it off. Come on, man. Come on. You got to love it. Insanity. That was amazing. And she's just like, nothing happened. Yeah. Wild, wild. Oh, okay, so she's got a new one. Lights it. Wow. 
It's hysterical that he lit it and then he's like, ah, oh, God. <laughs> it's, it's great because it shows so much uh, personality where it's like, okay, they act like they don't really like each other. But, you know, they're, they're good friends. They support each other like that. Hilarious. And you get so much character from that short scene. Oh, is it over? Okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Let me cry. Five. That's hysterical how it looks like. It's just a serial number and everything. Yeah, really, really playful, really fun. Just, uh, you can tell a lot of passion went into it, a lot of heart. And uh, that's that's my general reaction. They're very, very well done. If you guys have been enjoying as much as me and uh, enjoying our time together, make sure to subscribe or come over to Twitch if you want. I want to take a look at a little, little bit of this again. Just very, very well done. Uh, yeah, I thought that was really funny how he's like, <laughs> stop, stop that. Lights it for her. Stop. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that's hysterical and uh yeah it's almost like a it's almost like a little short film in itself with that you know being the sort of the bookends of it that character moment and then you get a little bit of backstory here which i liked yeah that was really solid as well but uh obviously the standout is this one or but it's it's just such a strong scene conceptually to me i think that's what makes it so great because you have the credits all over the place on the on the buildings and everything for the slow mo, and they went for I mean a really really nice amount of slow mo. I would say even probably like probably like 480 frames per second, 240 maybe. It's so it's so nice, and it's awesome that you know he's obviously a person who is not human. He has a lot of powers. I'm assuming he's like Dante. And, uh, you know, he can, he can move at extreme speed, which is happening here. It's like imperceptible to the human eye. He's moving so fast. If you think about it, right? Cause like the car just did a flip and he did all this stuff during that flip. But yeah, this is fantastic because it's all one shot. And like I said, the keyframes are so strong, uh, but it's not just the keyframes. It's, it's quite difficult to move the camera and make everything hit its mark. That's so funny that she catches on in the air. <laughs> it's insanity. But yeah, to make everything hit its mark, it takes an immense amount of planning. So that's what I mean, like conceptually. Like, come on, the, the name is on the wheel as it turns? That's so amazing. So yeah, I would say concept is, is really the strongest point of this intro. Uh, and then you have the great character work. You got this insane shot. It's awesome. And it's interesting because... It would have been pretty cool to have it as one unbroken shot, but honestly, this is the shot. This is the highlight of the entire thing. So I'm actually really glad they opted to cut away um, to show this, because that is amazing. <laughs> yes, he's blasting in the background. It's hysterical. And like I said, it has that sort of fun tongue in cheek to the entire thing. It doesn't feel, you know, overly serious. And that music. so good yeah nothing but good things about it it makes me want to play the game classic Devil May Cry <clears throat> absolutely classic Devil May Cry that's all I gotta say about that yeah maybe I do have to play this guys awesome yeah nothing but good things to say about it I would love to hear what you guys think as well if you agree with me or not and uh if we have Devil May Cry fans I would love to uh Love to hear what you think if I should play it. This is hysterical. I think the the it's the payoff. <laughs> like, ah, God, put that out. Wild, fantastic. I absolutely loved it, uh, guys. Let me know what you want to see me react to next. This was fantastic. I might do more scenes from this game or other stuff. Um, there wasn't a lot of crazy new videos that had come out today, so I wanted to go back and do some classic scenes like this uh, on days like this where there's not as much new stuff out. So let me know if. Um, you're good with that. You want me to do more and, uh, you know, write it down. If you want me to react to stuff, give me some ideas. Cause uh, there's obviously like old final fantasies and stuff I could do, but man, this game seems like a treasure trove of cutscenes. So it could be a lot of fun. Anyways, you guys are the best. Have a great day. Make sure to sub. Talk to you soon.